GCSE 91 Maths, a recap and a revision lesson on negative and fractional indices in roughly 1 minute 30 seconds. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so looking at negative indices, guys. So the first section you're looking at negative indices. Okay, and the second section you're looking at fractional powers. Okay, so negative indices. So in your exam, guys, yeah, like a non calculated paper, yeah, so it might say something like this, yeah. it might say evaluate 6 to minus 2. Now, what does this mean? When well, a negative power does the reciprocal, it's the inverse, it means 1 over 6 squared, okay? So, the negative power does the 1 over, okay, and the power just sticks with the number, yeah, and, and obviously becomes a positive at this stage, okay? Because the negative, yeah, has now been dealt with by the 1 over. 1 over 6 squared, yeah, is going to be 1 over 36, 2 to the minus 5, that will be 1 over 2 to the power of 5, which is 1 over 32. Because 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 35. 2 times 2 is going to be 4. 4 times 2 is going to be 8, 16, and then 32. Okay? Right, this next one, 2 thirds to the minus 2. Again, I'm going to do the reciprocal, so I'm going to invert it. So it becomes 3 halves squared. Okay? So that will be 3 squared, which is going to be 9, and then 2 squared, which is going to be 4. Okay, I'll leave it here as like a top every fraction for now, but you can obviously write it if you want here yeah, as 2 and a quarter or 2.25. Okay, either answer would suffice. Okay, right, looking at some fractional indices now. So 25 to the power of 3 halves. So here yeah, it's a bit more trickier, and this one here yeah, is just explicitly higher tier only, this section. Okay, this could appear on a foundation or higher. So here is, I do the root of the denominator. So yeah, and this is here, yeah, it's a square root, actually, or the second root yeah, of 25. Okay, which is 5. And then I raise my answer to the power of the numerator. Okay, I do the root of the denominator. I get an answer. And then I raise that answer to the power of the numerator. So 5 cubed is 125. Okay, so in general, a to the n over m is the nth root of a, all to the power of n. So you'd work out the nth root of a first, and then raise your answer to the power, yeah, of n. Okay, so you're doing the root of the denominator, and then once you get an answer, you raise that to the power of the numerator. The last part to mention here, any number to the power of zero in maths is equal to one. Okay, and any number to the power of 1 is just itself, guys. Yeah, so make sure yeah, that you are also happy with that. And make sure yeah, that you're happy with like, the laws here yeah, of indices. Okay, if you multiply with the same base, you add the powers. If you divide with the same base, you subtract the powers. Okay, so make sure yeah, that you're happy with your negative indices, fractional indices. Yeah, like laws of indices yeah, for the multiplication, division, power to power rule. Okay, yeah, and obviously powers of zero, okay, and powers of one, okay. Any number to the power of zero in maths is equal to one, and any number or letter to the power of one is just itself in maths, okay. So they are obviously like key bits to remember, okay. And a negative indice does the reciprocal, it does one over, okay. So, so the minus power does one over, okay, it flips the fraction. Okay, that's it today, guys. Yeah, sorry if I'm actually going a bit over. Hopefully it makes sense. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, okay? Bye for now. Good luck with, with your revision, okay? Speak soon, okay? All the best, guys.